Good morning and welcome to the morning show here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host, Daryl Lorette. Well, we're off to another flying start today. It's Tuesday and I uh, just came from the kitchen and uh, just fixed myself a big bowl of oatmeal and a chopped banana. And this morning I have a cup of black tea. Yes, indeed. So, what are we going to do today? Today, 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 today. Yesterday we had a really crappy workout. I go downstairs to, uh, you know, work out. First I had a bit of a stretch and then I uh, practiced my form and I went down and uh, tried to work out on the heavy bag and I get called back upstairs and uh, I gotta do it again. Well actually I had to work on another one. It was like, what am I, a kid? What am I, uh, a kid? Anyway, so uh, you know it's like, uh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, well, we got some stuff cooking down at the cafe, and uh, and we're waiting for that. It'll be done uh, very shortly, within about 15 minutes. So uh, before then, we uh, or while we're waiting for that, we will have our breakfast. Yay! Are we having fun yet? So, ooh, it's hot. The bottom is hot. You know, that's where all the the bottom goes down at the bottom so it's so it's hot I guess so yesterday I went and told one of the guy that goes around and does uh, some work for the uh, property managers or where he runs his joint that uh, there's been people coming into the building at midnight which I've talked about in a couple of other videos and they've been coming into the building at midnight around midnight for some reason why midnight I don't know and been going into the apartments one or more of the apartments across the hall from me and uh, he had said uh, that they actually broke into apartment 25 and that maybe they were probably over there doing drugs so it's like what are you gonna do you know I'm here by myself just little old me you know up against the big bad drug users you know so what am I gonna do unfortunately I don't have a gun and uh, calling the police well it hasn't come to that yet but uh, you know if it does it does so we're just waiting we're gonna play the cat and mouse game here and see what happens and I just got some bad news there I also found out that uh, a neighbor in the building who lives on the other side here uh, passed away uh, they found him Saturday lying on the kitchen floor so he must have maybe had a stroke or a heart attack and just sort of passed out or dropped you know to the floor and probably passed away you know yeah you, you think about stuff like that you wonder you know gee they found him on the kitchen floor if there was no foul play and he wasn't murdered by someone then he must have just you know had a heart attack or a stroke and dropped wherever he was standing he probably was standing there in the kitchen and you know apparently the guy's wife was walking by his apartment and managed to just maybe glance in the window and saw him on the floor and uh, apparently he was um, uh, from some of us, you know, from from a European country, and uh, didn't originally speak English, and so they had everything was in his mother tongue. And when the police came, they have to find an next of kin and all that sort of thing. So yeah, apparently they they're going to have to find a translator to all his uh, legal documents and stuff because. It was all written in his native tongue and whatnot, and so uh, that's like the third tenant who's died in the building here in the past year since last February. Last February, February of last year, within within a week of uh, uh, of one another, two tenants who actually lived downstairs at the ground level apartments, who lived literally next door to one another one lived alone the other one lived with his girlfriend or wife whatever she was the one died that was living alone and they both have had some sort of uh, um, diabetic health problems or whatever 
and uh, the one died that was living alone his name was Wayne he used to live next door to me and he was a bit of uh, he had some uh, I think he had some developmental handicap problems and uh, even though he was like in his 50s I think I believe he acted uh, very you know immature for his age and uh, so he had passed away February of last year and a week later it was like on my laundry day you know of all days uh, you know I gotta do my laundry couldn't you pick a better day to die you know so a week later the guy living next door with his girlfriend or wife he passes away of pretty much the same thing and it's like it's almost it was almost like a, a sympathetic death you know the one guy dies and the other guy feels really sorry or really bad and says oh you know I'll think I'll join you <laughs> goodbye cruel world anyway well that's enough of death and dying for now you know the reason I can talk about this is because I live across the street from a funeral home and uh, you know they're burying people over there left right and center every day and I've been living here for a decade and I'm not tired of it I, it's like a party you know it's like hey well, come one come all you know bring us your tired bring us your poor bring us your dead and we'll bury them for you so when he, one time it was five six years ago almost in September it'll be six years a guy on a motorcycle I guess lost control of his bike he had a parking meter in front of the building his bike landed uh, down the street or down on the sidewalk hit a car that the woman who once lived underneath me was parking a car in front of the building and it hit her car and he wound up on the sidewalk literally almost directly below my my apartment lying I, I could look out in the window and see him lying dead on the sidewalk and his bicycle his motorcycle was just you know maybe 10 feet up from him so and later after it was all over I when I had to go outside and, and walk by the area you could see that uh, the parking meter was bent over so he must uh, hit the hit the parking meter and his bike went flying and he one way and he went flying the other way and uh, to this day, five, six years later, they put a belt buckle in the little, they took away the flowers that they wrapped around the parking meter after they fixed it. But uh, they left his belt buckle in front of the parking meter and it's still there and no one will take the belt buckle. So, you know, the crazy, if you live someplace long enough, eventually weird and crazy stuff start to happen around you. You know, hopefully eventually they'll happen to you too because you know, you don't want to feel left out. So, okay, back to the oatmeal. Well, I had this really cool idea just a minute ago as, uh, as I was thinking about making this video. I thought, hey, let's stop for a let's you know we'll do that uh, station identification thing we'll say okay time to break for our station identification okay that's long enough back to the show <laughs> anyway I guess I can you know it works well in the writing but uh, I can't deliver yeah uh, you know I need to work on my my uh, delivery skills yeah we have a special delivery here we have a uh, we have uh, improvised lines for uh, Daryl Red Cafe. I feel like I make no sense whatsoever. Okay, back to the oatmeal. Like I was saying earlier, we got some stuff down at the cafe. Actually, when I went down there this morning, I had food still down there again today. I, I had cooked, I spent I think it was a day and a half trying to cook this. Or I didn't try to cook it. I cooked it. Oh, there's a car going by. Woo! All you can see is the lights. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of a 1940s Private Eye movie. With uh, Humphrey Bogart or some, somebody like that in it. So I still got food downstairs at the cafe, so... 
when I went down there to check on it this morning, there was still food down there, and well, I've got food that's cooking right now that will be ready, should be ready in a few minutes. So we're going to get this, uh, get this video off to you to brighten your day. And uh, I got a lot of oatmeal here left, so it's going to take me a while. My toilet's still running. Well, this show has been rather irreverent. I was going to say ir irrelevant as well. It's been a little irreverent. Okay, I guess that's it for this morning. This is Daryl Lorette here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. Wishing you a happy Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Ooh, I got something on my lip. Oatmeal.